The very first recipe that comes to my mind when I think of open fire cooking is an Indian sabzi called bengan ka bharta. Let's see how we make it. The most important ingredient for the bengan ka bharta, of course, are the large eggplants or the purple eggplants. What I'm going to do is give this eggplant a few gashes. Make sure you do not slit the eggplant through and through. Into these deep gashes, I'm going to stuff in some garlic. Alternately, in the other gash, I'm going to stud a green chilli. Continue studying this with garlic and chilies. Let's continue the same process with the other eggplants as well. I'm just lighting up this flame a little with some extra wood. The open wood flame has really geared up. Let's throw in the studded eggplants. Make sure you keep turning this well with the help of a tong as a safety measure. The skin of the large brinjals have completely scorched and that's exactly how you want it. Let's remove this and plunge this in cold water. By doing this, the scorched skin gets a thermal shock and it comes out very easily. Let this rest in the water for three to four minutes. This has relatively now cooled down and I'm going to remove this in another plate. Make sure you drain out all the possible water. Let's start peeling this now. While peeling this, make sure you remove all the studded chili and garlic and place it separately. You can also do the same in an oven or on a gas burner. Once this is nicely peeled and done, all I'm going to do is cut the crown off. The chilies and garlic go in this mortar and pestle. while the cooked pulp of this eggplant goes on a cutting board. I'm going to run a knife roughly through this and cut it into chunky pieces. The cutting is done and ready. Let's now move on to the tempering. For the tempering, I'm going to use an earthen clay pot to which I'm going to add in some mustard oil along with regular vegetable oil. Remember, while cooking in an open pit fire, it's difficult to control the flame. So you have to be really quick, really swift. The next thing that goes in is some mustard seeds along with cumin, followed by some chopped onions and tomatoes. Let's mix this well and allow this to cook for a minute or so. While this is cooking, let's pound the chilies and garlic. This also goes into the tempering mixture and a quick stir. Mix this nicely and what goes in next is a little bit of asafoetida and turmeric. Mix this nicely and let's add in the chopped eggplant pulp. Along with this, a little salt as required. Well, I'm using sea salt. You can use the salt of your choice. Finally, chopped coriander. When it comes to coriander, I like being extra generous. With this, my version of a rustic and simple bengan bharta is ready. Do enjoy it with your family and wait for what next the Bombay chef gets into your kitchen.